say it, this is where you wanted me to meet you in a counselor's office? Man, we got to figure out why we fight so much. All this arguing is tearing me up inside. Welcome, Steve. Cedric, I'm Dr. Langer. Sorry to keep you waiting. Did you both get some herbal tea? Okay, why don't we just jump right in, hmm? So, how long have you two been life partners? How long have we been what? <laughs> what did you tell her? I mean, it was the only way I can get insurance to pay half. I don't know what he told you, but I am not, nor have I ever been, the life partner type. <laughs> we are roommates, nothing more, okay? Okay, I understand that you two have been experiencing some friction in your relationship. Would you like to talk about what's going on? Cedric has no consideration. Okay, Cedric, how does that make you feel? It make me feel lousy. I do a lot, I cook. He don't ever clean up. I buy all the groceries, and then he eat all the groceries. <laughs> I have to listen to that tired song you can't finish. That's because every time I'm playing and I see his drawers on the floor, <laughs> it messes up my flow. Okay, gentlemen, let's try something. I'd like you to say something you like about each other. Cedric? Well, he don't steal. Steve? He has a very nice telephone voice. Let's see if we can dig a little deeper. Cedric? Well, I guess if it wasn't for Steve, I'd probably be living in the back of my cousin's liquor store. Steve? And if Guess if it wasn't for said, I probably wouldn't even have a job. Hey, look, said man, I'm sorry about all this, but you really hurt my feelings when you gave my meatloaf to the doorman. I don't know, that was mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I cracked on your song, too. All right. Well, can we just move on? Let's get out of here. Hey, dog. you know, I'm glad we really worked this out, man. You don't have to worry about this session, I'll pay for it. Cause it's worth it. 